So, hello everyone, it is I, Crusader King, back at it again with another Hearts of Iron 4 video. Today we are going to be playing Old World Blues once more. I know that I talked a lot about the re building a republic and doing republic shit, but I think it's time we come back. And I think I've done a lot of countries, I've done Bellingham, I think I've done Washington Brotherhood. I hope I've done Washington Brotherhood. But today, I thought, you know... We're going to be playing the Timekeepers, because the Timekeepers are actually one of the most interesting factions, or rather, I guess, one of the most interesting countries in Old World Blues. And that is because when the White Legs come to attack you, it is possible for you to actually win the war against the White Legs. And what's more, it's actually good for you to win the war. And not only that, but win everything else. So, let's get into it. Sadly, we are not using any mods beyond just the regular Hoi 4, so... I think I'm going to go down selling to the elites for one main reason. The elites are significantly better than, uh, than the guy that we have currently. So, let's get guns. And we get five, read them, five research slots. Oh boy, we're coming in hot. So we're going to get warrior training. We're going to get basic machine tools. Work as needed, as well as the research and reinforcement bonuses. We're also going to get quite a bit of consumer factories. And lastly, we're going to get these guys that will basically help us out on our journey here. We're going to get, uh, we're probably going to get a guy in, in the meantime, but we do start off with the Overwatch talk, which gives us fortifications and that that's about it, really. <laughs> so first things first, we have no economic nod, which basically means that we are at the standard at the mercy of 10 bottle caps pretty pennies right there but what we are going to do however is go down the militia commander route get all of this get the plan of ball and get some of this stuff we're going to be playing very defensively which basically means that once we finish all of these we will be getting a, a defensive bonus or a defensive doctrine luckily this game is a little behind so we can actually do that and with that we will get conventional warfare very nice very nice I'm actually going to wait for the Militia Commander so we can get level 2 Commanders instead of the level 1 cringe Timekeeper Shrill. Oh, I forgot to train these guys. Fuck. And now it's time we boost our own population by doing organized agriculture. This entire path gives us a very, very nice sum of manpower that we are actually going to need. Now that we have slightly better divisions, uh, never mind, we don't have slightly better leaders, but we do have this guy. And this is the one man I can basically trust. Because this guy fucking sucks ass. Alright, 100 once more. Town Defender will give me more defense. And Max Entrenchment will be added on. There we go. Now we're going to go down the entire organized agriculture route. So we can get the hefty amount of manpower that it provides. Like I said, don't matter about how many divisions you have or how little equipment they have. Let's just be happy that they're here for my birthday party. Oh. No. Remember, kids, if funny men tell you to take their syringe, make sure you shoot them and raid them and seize their fucking forts. Never accept the followers of the apocalypse. They will become a pain in the ass later. We're not having the best luck with it. Why are all of them lone wolves? Stop being lone wolves, you fucking assholes. All right. Oh, my God. Lone wolf number one. Lone wolf number two. Lone wolf... No all right, you know what? You. I'll give you local leader. So, I'm going to have to promote this lone wolf. And then I'm just going to give him the bonus, so that way he can actually give me things, and actually run an army. So, battle core, or battle plans, local warehouses to defend ourselves with, and once again, preparing guns. We do need quite a bit, but we are building it up, so no worries, no worries, we're getting there, we're getting there. Ah, uh, but no worries, I could enforce, tra I'm going to enforce trade laws for the extra, nope, there it comes. I thought I would have more time, but it does seem that I, I'm not going to have more time. Here it goes to nothing, I suppose. Oh, just a bunch of hopes and prayers that whatever comes at the end of this, it's enough. All right, boys, finalize the defenses and pray that this works. I don't care if you have seven more divisions than what you expected. I just don't give a shit anymore. 
The defenses have been uh, finalized. Well, not really, but, you know, they're not going to have enough time to even survive anymore, so. Stop training, and we're not even going to try and fight them. We're just going to keep our troops well made. We have a 50% entrenchment bonus. A very nice entrenchment bonus, actually. And once all of these go to three, we're just going to be building factories. Clock watch, clock watching. Clock watching. That's what you call this? Fucking clock watching. Oh, oh there it goes. Yep, it's all green, baby. Except this part. This part is not very green, but no worries. All we gotta do is just keep it, or keep an eye out and not die. Because right now, we just need to exhaust them. Because they're really the only ones that are dying right now. In the meanwhile, let's keep boosting up our stuff. More entrenchment speed and entrenchment in general. So that way we can survive. If it really comes down to it, we might have to do last stand. But not yet. And let's just wait till they exhaust themselves. They are already exhausting themselves. Because they don't have a lot of manpower. They've already lost a thousand manpower. And they seem to have stopped. Huh. That's strange. It's almost as if they can't fight me anymore. <laughs> there we are. With the oh, fuck. Okay, hey man, hey man, hey man. That's not very cool. That's not very nice of you. They seem to have finally bled into our land. That's not good. This is not how this is supposed to go. Run, my children. No! My agent's been captured! No! Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, this guy's struggling, but... 3,000 casualties. 3,000 men. They still have a nice amount of factories, though. There we go. Fight. Fight them. Fight them. No. My child. My pretty. Fight them. Get rid of them. No. Keep them in the border. We need to kill these two troops. If it's for money, it's for money. If it's not for money, we're, we're bleeding into their land, too. All right, come on. Yes. Good. Good. We're taking out their troops. Or they're taking casualties, finally. Yes. Die. Die, child. So this is how it ends, huh? Oh, yeah. No, this is definitely how it ends. Oh, my God. The NCR just law. I've been distracted this whole time. I forgot to mention what the fuck's going on with Caesar's Legion, dude. Well, looking at the same. The NCR were never destined to win. Hey, can I can I be led into the faction, please? I can't. Yeah, no, this is where the game this is where we're gonna start losing, aren't we? Another encirclement? And now they have 14 divisions. <laughs> Where's their last? St. George is their final capital. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Let's kill more divisions. <laughs> hey, guys. I, I think they're not winning. I don't think they've won this one. And just like that, we've won the war. Now, I would I would actually puppet them. Mainly for two main, mainly for a couple main reasons. They have some pretty good bonuses, actually, and they don't have that bad manpower. So I'm just gonna puppet them on garrison, and this will actually give us another opportunity to kill someone else, and that would be Mr. Nukenan. It's -a me, boys. It's the time keepers. Run, my children, march. We're getting in here, and we're not getting out. That's what she said. What the fuck? <laughs> Tar. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss. Who the fuck are you, ma'am? And how did you get here? How did this even happen? Alright, I, I, uh, well, that was not intended to happen, so, uh, I guess I gotta deal with these guys, too. Yeah, they're bleeding into my land. Uh, hey, could you, like... I'm gonna ask for military aces. Pal, please. Please, man, I need your help. All right, cool, cool. Uh, Quickly, quickly. Move, 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 my children, move. As long as they don't get Vault City. I mean, Vault 24. That It's a knockoff Vault City. Don't worry about it. I love war. I love war. I love war. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we took out the 80s, and now it's, it's time to take out the not 80s on 5. The cringier 80s. It does appear that these guys are... Uh, oh, fuck. Hmm. I would kill them. Problem is, I kinda can't at the current moment. 
Oh, they did stop us from taking out New Canaan, which is kind of a problem. New Canaan, I don't know how you say it. New Canaan, Canaan. And they do also have that massive bonus of like 25%. I, I can walk on their territory, actually, and get the capital for myself. It just would count as their land, which is a tiny issue. <clears throat> because I don't need them to, you know, kind of have that. So I'll cancel my military axis. I'll be taking this land for myself. Thank you very much. And yeah, there it is. There's the peace treaty. Can I? No. I can only take out land here. Go. Go. Uh, I did it. All right. It's time to do the funky monkey. Actually, not yet. I still have not even reorganized my military. I have no idea how they even got the girl boss thing. And I'm kind of afraid that if I do anything that they'll probably slaughter me. So, I think I'll end it here. Um, to be honest, I took out both the big, uh, not only the, the white legs, but two nations in of themselves. So, I think we're doing so well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit shorter, but I honestly enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, bye bye